Hey guys, um, this is the next video that we're doing on Divergent Chill cover creation for the first book cover. Video number four, I believe. <laughs> yeah, I think it is about the fourth one, something like that. Yeah. yeah. Um, or it might be five, I'm not sure. Anyway, um, she, as you can see, she's commenting along Jerry's... Um, yeah, I'll let Jerry just describe what he's done with it. Oh, well, yeah, so I, I did clean it up a little bit. Um, it's not like a pure clean line art, but you can tell that the definition is there. Uh, her structure is fully... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Proportionate, <laughs> in a way. You know, uh, you don't have to be completely proportionate when you... Okay, let me take off that back layer. You can see the, the clean art uh, more vividly. But um, the thing is, what I learned in uh, school is like when my instructor was telling me when you're drawing a figure and such, you can be... You can exaggerate. You have the freedom to exaggerate the, the figure and the movement. You know, make be a little animated and your character would come to life. You know, that's what I wanted to give to her. You know, she got the little arc in her back. She's standing firm on the ground. She's pointing her arm out and, you know, her face is looking, she, she has that expression on her face. You know, you just, just don't want to mess with her. <laughs> but um, yeah, just, uh, that's a solid look. And what I'm going to do next is the adding armor. Now, um, I have already did a concept art of Chill back in the day, and uh, this is the armor that I had for her. It was the chainmail and the chest plate and the shoulder pad. Uh, I did have to get rid of the gloves, right, David? Yeah, he said when we sent it to him that he did not want the gauntlets. Mm -hmm. So yeah, she's not going to have any, yeah, any of that. Yeah, so that's uh, an old concept that I'm going to be working on uh, and implementing that to her body right about now. Now I'm going to start with that chest plate and uh, see how far I get with that. Now I'm going to be doing this on a new layer, so just in case I screw up, you know, I can have a little bit of uh, forgiveness and just kind of like erase it immediately without affecting the body that I drew underneath. Now let me take a look at that... Uh, picture again. I, I might want to start with the chain mail first and then draw the uh, the plates over it. So I see that I made her chain mail go up to her neck and I already drew, drew in on the biceps where the chain mail is going to end and it kind of goes all the way down to her hips in a way. So yeah, first I'm just going to fill that in. Uh, I'm not going to go into strict detail, but I do want to know that this is chain mail that she have on her body. So I'm just going to go ahead and throw a couple of lines here in every which direction. I try and follow the same direction though, but kind of curve around that muscle. I'm not being too neat about this. You know, it's kind of like cross-hatching, you know, when you're shading, you do a cross-hatch shade, so, but this is chain mail, so. Not that much detail. Now, if I was doing this, uh, I guess, um, oh boy, I lost my cursor for a second. If I was doing this, like, with color, I would actually have to go in there and draw every piece of chain like looping into each other and that would take like thousands of years obviously so I'm not going to do that right now in this short video but I do want to I do want to get as much done so that we can recognize what she have on underneath this uh, armor I'm going to go a little faster here now, this is the hardest part, I believe, just getting the shape of her muscles. It's kind of like drawing the fiber on that, uh, on the abs, <laughs> if you know what I mean. The muscle fibers. 
Yeah, that's right. <laughs> And uh, you're you're working on your piece too, as we speak, aren't you, David? Yeah, and I'm also working on the second cover. Um, and yeah, some muscles. I guess if you look at any um, Marvel drawings, like um, out of all the art theories to look at, you can reference, you know, a bunch of them. Obviously, yeah. I'm sure a lot of people that do no drawing um, have their picks and cho choose choices or whatever um but as far as muscle definition uh marvel i think is like probably some like they focus on muscles because everybody they draw is just like at the you know pinnacle of their muscular <laughs> well you gotta say they're a bit exaggerated themselves too yeah they um yeah they definitely exaggerated because you don't see some of the muscles that they have you don't see on a lot of people I don't know I mean there are a lot of it is realistic and I guess to life yeah I mean the the muscles are where they're supposed to be yeah. <laughs> but I guess and even I'm... even like characters like you could think of even the video game like Street Fighter E Honda with the huge fat guy. And somehow he has a four pack. <laughs> I never understood that. Like how I've never seen somebody with a big fat belly and muscle on top of that. Right. <laughs> but it, somehow they make it look right, you know. And, but it just gives you a lot to reference, and just even just seeing that constantly, just um, you kind of start just getting used to visually being able to duplicate that when you're drawing yourself, I guess. Right. But yeah, um, this is, you can see that Jerry is definitely moving along and it's becoming more of a complete uh, figure as far as the line art. So we'll get into more of it in the next video. And thank you all for watching. Hey guys, I'd like to quickly announce the winners of the random drawing for new YouTube subscribers. Xenox555 and Brad Solomon win a free copy of Divergent Chill Battle of Nesma. It's an ebook on sale at Amazon.com. And you win a free Kindle version of it. Please contact me with your email address so I can get this to you. You can send me a message through YouTube or just whatever way you feel you can contact me. My email address is listed in the information for this video below. And thank you guys and congrats.